Hello, my name is um Jules Guitar One Two Three, and um this is my first YouTube video. I'm just gonna tell you really quick. Um, I moved to Argentina a little while ago from Acton. Miss all my friends and all that, but I'm starting to lose my English, which really sucks. Anyways, today I'm um, in Blender. I'm gonna teach you how to use IPO animation, which is basically an animation. Maybe another tutorial I'll show you how to make your own um, desktop background with GIMP. Anyways, um, let's get started. Well, I already have a Blender um, file already done with all the movements to the cube. Um, you're you're gonna have to figure out that yourself. Figure that out yourself because today we're just gonna use an iPhone. And um, how we're going to do this is I'm going to press space, add mesh UV sphere. We're going to leave it as default, press OK. Yours will probably um, come up in edit mode. Mine doesn't, so I'm just going to scale that down a bit. I'm going to hold control, move it twice to the right, and a lot of, it, a lot of times down. And um, we're going to press 3. Move it one up, that way it's centered. Okay, and um, this is our setup, so we're going to come up here. I don't. I really don't know if you can see it. We're going to click there, and animation. It automatic, a default. It um, does a default wireframe, and um, that's great. So I'm going to tell you about this IPO curve editor a little later, and the timeline is just, to tell you what frame you're on. When you press right arrow key twice, or you know, when you keep on pressing it, you skip through frames one at a time. If you press up and down, you skip through them ten, ten frames. Um, so right now, we're, we're going to have the UV sphere selected. We're going to press I, which is insert a keyframe to the UV sphere. Lock is location, rot is rotation, scale is scale. Lock, rot, location, rotation, lock, rot, scale, location, rotation, and scale. Today we're just going to use lock. Man, that's a mouthful. Um, okay, as you can see, it's supposed to be a curve editor. As you can now see, we have no curve. Because we didn't add any action to our um, animation yet. So we're going to press um, right arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. So we're at frame five. We're gonna move this up, um, holding control and left holding control. We're gonna press I location, and you keep on doing that. Down I location, down right I location, and we finally come to a halt where we were before. And um, you wanna know what? Don't do any of that that I just told you because I forgot. So, um, I forgot to do something. We we press right four times until we get to frame five. We move up twice. And, um, then we stay there and we press I lock, lock rock. Then we go four times again. Hold on. Five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, to nine. Twice down, left, twice down, then we press I again. I can't believe I forgot that. One, two, three, four. And that's what you repeat. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm really, hold on, one, two, three, four. I'm really just, you know, nervous in my first. And um, we come to your last one, which is that. And so now it should have a circulation curve. What we have problems with, and all of them do, is it comes through the cube, as you can plainly see, and that's a big problem. So what this is for, what the IPO curve editor is for, is to edit the curve. How do we do that? We're going to use the Y, just because I'm really rushed in, which is the um, lock Y, which is orange. So we're going to click on the orange, we're going to press tab. And we're going to scroll to where it touches, and we're going to fix that problem by pressing one of the points or the whole thing and pressing G. As you can see, it's really high now. And over here, where it goes there, we have to move 
that up. I'm just gonna, oh. Yeah, move that up. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be a really wobbly curve, but at least it's not gonna touch. Over here it touches, so we're just gonna edit that. Ooh, down. My bad. Ooh, way too far down. I really don't care. It's gonna look crazy, but it's gonna look funny. Hold on. Pass it big time. Okay, and that's our animation. We're gonna go back to our model. If we press Alt A, we have our little animation. Check closely. Remember to always check before because um, if it touches it, we're in big trouble. If we press P, it doesn't move. And that's a big problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the sphere over here. Um, over here in the logic panel, we're going to add a sensor, a controller, and an actuator. We're going to connect them. And we're going to leave always as always and and as and. And I'll tell you why in a second. Oh, wow, that's low. Oh, it's not even working. Okay. And um, motion. We're going to click on that. We're going to go to IPO, which I told you before is an animation. Remember, we started at frame 1 and we ended at frame 17. And what it's going to say is it's always going to play that, which means it's going to repeat it, as you can see. As you can see, it's repeating it. Only problem, when we move up, it doesn't come with us and it bangs us. Wow, that was cool. Anyways, and it hits us really hard. So what we gotta do, hold on, what we gotta do, I'm gonna zoom out, is we're gonna select the sphere, shift, select the cube, press control P, make parent. As you can see, when we move forward, it parents with us. This is great for aura, or if you get a really good animation, like, you know, swing in a baseball bat at somebody's face or something, I don't know. You could do a lot with animation. In fact, all the games have animation in them. Most of them. And, um, well, that's my tutorial. Please subscribe, and if you gotta say bad things, that's okay. Just, you know, note to self, or note to you guys. It's my first tutorial. But, thanks. Bye.